Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually filming this intro the day this video is going to be going up, so it is Monday, March 8th. I felt like I needed to do a bit of an intro to this video because the clips are very spaced out. This is a hair related video, by the way. So I've been taking clips here and there to help me track my hair progress. I also just wanted to say, and I mean this respectfully, but I am not looking for any advice. I do find that when I post about my hair and how I, and how I have a hard time growing my hair, I get a lot of comments from people saying that if I stopped dyeing my hair, my hair would grow and be healthy. If I stopped wearing extensions, um, if I stopped using heat, like for me, that doesn't work. Obviously these are helpful factors, but that is just not the issue for me. Right now I still have my extensions in. I am going to be taking these out pretty soon. And when I take them out, I do need to focus on scalp care. So I might actually do a full video on scalp care because that is an important factor to hair health as well. Basically for the past two years, my game plan was to kind of just leave my hair as natural as possible. I don't think I've colored my hair in like almost two years. It's maybe been a little bit longer or shorter, but I feel like it's somewhere around there. I did have toner put in it once um, just because the color on the ends was really brassy. But besides that, I haven't colored it at all. I use heat on it maybe once or twice a month just in like small sections. And personally, I don't find that my extensions affect my hair too much. Even though it has been very many years of me not being able to hit my goal with my hair, I still feel like I will get there eventually. So I'm gonna keep documenting. So that's my little intro. I'm gonna roll the clips. It's just uh, some hair updates, a little review on the Nature's Bounty hair skin nail gummies, and my current hair care routine. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just gonna like put my puffer here. Oh, that works. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. I'm just about to go in and get my, whoa. I'm about to get my extensions put back in. So I wanted to get a before clip of my hair and I actually took a video clip back in June. I think I was in this exact spot and it was right before I was getting my extensions put in last time. That would have been six or seven months ago. I just want a video to compare. So I haven't looked at the clip yet. I'm gonna do like a side by side and let me know if you can notice a difference. Honestly, like I feel like my hair has grown a little bit, probably not a lot. Um, it always kind of gets stuck at this length and breaks off, but it looks longer to me. And I just feel like overall the texture is better. I just had to get a video clip before we put the extensions back in. So that is that. And as many of you guys know, I have been working with Nature's Bounty this past year and I've been taking the hair, skin and nail gummies like almost every single day. So I wanna do like a mini review of that in this video as well. And yeah, uh, let's just get this done and then I'll chat with you after. <laughs> What's up? You want these? <laughs> these are mine they're not yours funny girl i took a clip of my hair yesterday when it was freshly styled um it is the next day so i slept on it and i also went to the gym so it's obviously not looking as nice but but if you want more information on the extensions and the application process i have a separate video that goes into more detail so i'll have that um, up here. So I wanted to do a little review on the hair, skin, and nail gummies. This is kind of like a one-year update because I have been taking these for about a year now. They look like that. You have two a day. They taste so good. The first time I bought these, which was quite a few years ago, I bought them solely for the flavor and just to eat them. <laughs> these have also been around for quite a long time, so I'm sure that a lot of you guys are familiar with them. If you're not familiar with them, they are strawberry flavored gummies, and each gummy contains 1,250 micrograms, I think that's what it is, MCG, microgram? Uh, micrograms of biotin. So there's a little bit of vitamin C and vitamin E in it as well. Okay, we'll start with hair, which is the main reason why I take these. Uh, if you guys have followed along on my channel for a while, I have been, I don't want to say struggling, but I've been on a hair journey for quite a few years. When I was younger, I actually had really thick, healthy, shiny hair. I do think it was hormone related. There was just a year or a couple years where it totally changed texture, um, started breaking off. It just looked completely different. And for a long time, I thought maybe it was just because I wasn't taking care of my hair. I'm like, was I bleaching it too much? Was I 
using too much heat on it and I do think those are obviously factors but I definitely think it was a hormonal like internal switch that just completely changed my hair so I do feel like my hair is finally starting to get better it's still kind of stuck around that length that I showed you but I do think that the texture is getting better it's just smoother not as like poofy up here and I'm really happy about that so this could have played a factor because I have been taking it really consistently this year as far as my skin goes my skin likes to break out and then clear up and then break out and clear up and I again I think that's a hormonal thing so that's something that I'm working on but besides the acne my skin is quite glowy I would say that I have pretty nice skin minus the breakouts and then nails honestly I have really strong nails these are I just have shellac on but my nails have always been really strong and they grow long and I think it's just genetics so I can't really say anything about that because I haven't really had any issues with my nails so but again my absolute favorite thing about them is the flavor I think they taste great and I love taking them every day it's so much better than swallowing a pill that is my mini review. I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check out more information on that. But huge thank you to Nature's Bounty. Um, I loved working with them this year. I was constantly stocked up on gummies and it was delicious. Let me know if you guys have tried these and what your uh, opinions are of these in the, in the comments below. I just got back from the gym and I've been wearing my hair in braids pretty much every single day. I'm taking them out because I'm going to wash my hair. And I think I've decided that I'm going to take out my extensions. Also, I've been filming this video super sporadically because it is now March 5th, so very spaced out. I love having my extensions in because I feel like they look nice, but honestly, I'm either at home or the gym, maybe the grocery store, and I just don't need my extensions in right now, so I think I'm going to take them out and then maybe put them back in in a few months if restrictions lift and I end up going out and about more, but I think... I may as well just let my hair be natural for a while. I don't have time to take them out today, so I might do it on Monday, and I'm just gonna do it myself, and I'm gonna get Colby to help me at home. So yeah, that is the plan, but I'm gonna wash my hair, and I thought I would take you through my shower routine and just show you what products I'm using and stuff. I'm starting out with this pre-shampoo from Kerastase. It's basically a very gentle scalp exfoliant, and I'm just trying it out right now to see if it helps with my flaky scalp. Um, but it's really gentle, like it doesn't really feel like an exfoliant. And then I do switch out my shampoo and conditioner pretty frequently, but I'm currently using the Briagio Don't Despair Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I also use the conditioning mask like every second time, and I've really been liking these. I've decided I'm going to start taking out my extensions, and I'll show you what I'm using. These probably aren't the best, but it's all I have, so I have these pliers. They're kind of heavy duty, but I think they'll work. Basically... Can you see any of them? Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's just a little strand of hair that's held on by a bead that's been clamped. So you just have to clamp it open and then it releases the hair. taking out all the extensions it's actually really easy to take them out but I just couldn't reach the ones at the back um, so Colby actually did most of it I just did the ones like at the front side areas I'm gonna cut off like, as you can see it always gets down here but then the end like two inches always thins out so I think I'm gonna cut off a couple inches I'm gonna wash my hair and do a really good scalp scrub. Oh, it's gonna feel so good. And I'm also gonna book in, I think it's called a head spa. There's a place close to my house and they do authentic Japanese scalp treatments. So I wanna get one of those done. And I think for the next few months, I'm really just gonna focus on balancing my hormones more because I do think that correlates with my hair health and just trying to get my scalp under control just see what happens with my hair. So, oh my God. <laughs> Darla's tail. I'm gonna end the video here. 
honestly I was hoping to have a little bit more progress and more to show you but that is just how it goes so oh my gosh the dogs are sitting in the sun and they get so hot and they pant but for some reason they love it anyways thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video peace out